Nowadays, there's too much options. Everybody from us have folders with millions of snare samples. Do you want to sit there? You know, better create your own. Back in the days, you all had the same stuff, but you all sound different. Now, there's so many options, and they all sound the same. Which is a big problem, I see. And, and always when I play live, and I have here the 16 pads, I see the simplicity of my songs. This is one of the biggest hits in hardcore history. It got a kick. It's from the 909. It got a tom. It got a crash. A vocal sample. And a melody. And all together it sounds like this. And that's all. <laughs> and a lot of people do too much. You know, it's the same like, oh, layer this sin ten times. Why? Look for a good one. You know? Also, back in the days, you don't have... 20 reverbs, you had maybe two and a delay. So you take one sound and everything sounds like completely with a nice room. Today it's too much and then it sounds like shit. Also, one of the hits are still in the Netherlands, played since, I don't know, 25 years on every hardcore party. And then the whole audience sing it, ain't no party like an alcoholic party. You have the a cappella? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the alcoholics. I don't know if you know, from New York. But then came all these styles, and this was you know, the beginning of the end, I would say. <laughs> 